you're not working today. No, I can't. I'm going shopping. Oh, whereas most people say they can't go shopping because they're busy working. It's interesting. And being fit for my bridesmaid dress. Oh, and watching what I say. You know, I could really upset the apple cart where that wedding's concerned. Really? She'd fall flat on her back if she knew what I knew. Yeah? And what's that, then? Sorry, I can't tell you. Oh, come on, babe. I thought we shared everything. Uh, not this, we don't. Mm. I see. So it's all right to have secrets, is it? I mean, I didn't realise. Mm. It's all right to have secrets. So we married. Ah. And then I'll tell you my secret. And you can tell me any you might have. Though I guarantee that none of them will be as big as this one. Well, I look forward to it. Right now, I've got to get moving, so uh, mm. have a nice uh, day. And you. <laughs> and don't shop too hard. Bye. I've got nothing against him, personally. It's just I want it to be like it was, just two of us. Yeah, you keep saying, but what you don't say is what I should do. I, mean, I can't just throw him out, can I? I want to be able to walk around without any clothes on and have a bath with the door open so I can still hear the telly. But I can't while he's still here, can I? Morning. Hi, hey, son, you all right? Yeah, well, I, uh, I think so. Been a nice break for you, this, hasn't it? Change from your mum's. Yeah, it's a change from being nagged at all the time. Oh, she probably doesn't mean it. Mine always used to go on at me. Yeah, well, she can go on all she wants now, cos I won't be there to listen to it. Ah, oh, she must be really upset, though, you know, hoping you'd go back so she can make it up to you. Shame it's not going to happen. We need to get moving. Right, two minutes, lad. Well, I'll go and see his mum. What for, a bit of the other? I'll do as a favour. No, to see if I can get her to persuade him to move back. Yeah, and what if she won't? Then I don't know, do I? Look, I'm trying, OK? I just don't want to upset the lad. Upset him? What about upsetting me? Does that not matter? Oh, hey, Audrey. Oh, can you believe the state of this place? Oh, oh yeah, it is a bit mucky, isn't it? Anyway, I'd offer to help you stay and clean up, but I'm going to work. Although, maybe, Maria, you've got a bit of spare time on your hands, haven't you? Look, I'm not expecting either of you to help me out. Oh, Audrey, I don't mind. It'll give me something to do. I'd be happy to help. Oh, it's very kind of you, my love. Oh, yes, she is kind, Maria. Yes, yeah, so I go to work if you go in, Fizz. Especially if she doesn't have a right lot of choice in the matter. <laughs> Taking a notice of her, she's in a funny mood. Well, I hope you don't think that she's landed you in it and you've got to help her. No, I used to work here, didn't I? I still feel part of it, in a way. Nice to help get it back on its feet. Oh, Maria. Oh, that's really nice of you. Thank you. Mm. OK, well, I suppose we better start by putting this up, shall we? At least then we may get a chance of having a few customers. Oh. <gasps> right. I don't know why I'm even bothering going in. I hate everything we've got today. Yeah, well, that's because you're behind. I kept telling you. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm just going to wait for Todd. How do you know he's not gone? Because he wouldn't. He watches me from his window, waits for me to come out. I hate that and all. Guy watching me all day. No, you wouldn't. Anyway, he's here now. Morning, girls. Hiya. Um, look, you two. You just go ahead, cos I've got something I want to do. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, oh you will not open. It's OK. Mm -hmm. Um, Mrs Roberts? Hello. I've just seen a poster on the door about reopening. Yeah, not till next week, Andy. Yeah, but I was thinking about leaving school early and going on a work placement instead. And what I'd really like to do is work in the hairdressers. So I was wondering, is there any chance of you taking me on? Uh, can I just say something at first, Audrey? Excuse me? This is a private conversation. Well, you know, like I left the Rovers, I was going to ask you if I could come back here. Yeah, well, I've asked first, haven't I? Yeah, and I've worked here before you and done training. Where is you? What can you do? You're useless. What could be more useless yeah, than you, yeah. lot? Girls, girls, please. <laughs> Look, Audrey, I can start today. Now. Well, I kind of have in a way, haven't I? But I asked first. Yes, now, look, now stop this. Come on. Now, even if I was willing to take either of you on, I'm not going to be very impressed by this sort of carry on, am I, eh? Well, I know you're not, but I have worked here before. And you've left before, so she knows what she's getting when she takes you on. Oh, well, what are you? You're just a school kid. Oh, please. whatever. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Now that's it. Now come on, but... stop it. No, Candice, now stop this. Really. You've both made it perfectly clear that you want to work here. Now, I'm going to make it clear that I'm only going to employ very, very experienced staff, which rules both of you out, even if you hadn't ruled yourselves out with all this behaviour. Oh, this is your fault. Well, get lost. Look, Audrey, you are 
going to no. need someone. Maria, please, now stop this. I've said all I'm going to say on this particular subject. It's closed. Right, well, you know what? I've just remembered I've got something to do, so you're going to have to clean up this dump by yourself. Oh. So, um, she's gone, then, has she, young Maria? Y yeah, she has, yeah. Oh. Just when she were getting thank her job. Was that what she were doing? I thought she were working for Temperance Society, trying to put folk off drinking. Well, she was improving. Well, we could all us. I mean, uh, yeah, well, it's, 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 it's up to you. Of course. What, Fred? You could always ask her back. Out of pity, cos nobody else is going to employ mm. her. I'm not going to ask her back, Fred. I don't intend to. No, well, like I said, it's your decision. Yeah, mm -hmm. you and your advisor. If that's me you're meaning, Betty, mm. then I know my daughter too well to think she's going to listen to anything I have to say. Mm, right. But I do know a barmaid when I see one, mm. just like I see one every time I look in the mirror. Whereas that young lady, whatever she sees when she looks in her mirror, isn't holding a pint pot. Mm. Talking of what I see in the mirror, though, it's high time I smarten myself up a mm. bit. Do you mind if I pop out and get me hair done today? Of course you can, as long as Betty doesn't mind holding for. Oh, yes, sir. I'm sure we'll manage <laughs> somehow. Well, thanks, Betty. That's oh, very kind. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I might get my nails done and all. <laughs> right, I'm off. Oh, I'm going into town shopping with Tracy. Is that what you want? Uh, no, I don't think so, love. You need some new shirts. Yeah, yeah new shirts, fine. Okay. Right, see you all later. See ya. Bye. 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 Morning. Don't worry, it's not you I'm after, it's your wife. Oh, sorry. What am I saying? Not your wife, I didn't mean your wife. You meant Shelley. Look, I did mean Shelley, I did, honest. Yes, well, she's waiting for you. We have still got the other one, though. If you're asking me if I'm still married to Lucy, then the answer is yes, OK? But that's going to be sorted out, so... But in the meantime, Tracy, I would appreciate Yeah, I shan't say out. Shan't say out. Right, thank you. He's been away before, like, when he went to Blackpool. It's just knowing he's with his dad makes it different, like he's defected to the enemy. Well, at least me and Ken ain't got any kids to argue about. I'll be thankful. Marriage breakup's bad enough. Kids make it a hundred times worse. Yeah, they do, don't they? But if you're, like, really clever, you don't have the kids, you don't have the marriage, and that way you can walk around, like, with a big smile on your face instead of looking as miserable as you two. Thanks, Dev. You'll come unstuck one day. <laughs> and when I do, I know where to come to moan and groan about it. Right. What, do you think you can dry your tears long enough to get through the books, like we said? It's not tears that are stopping me. I have a job on. Yep, Catholic Church to airport. Mm. Can't someone else do it? I'll see you this after. We'll do the books then. You know, you could show a little bit of sympathy. It's going through a bad time. Eileen, we are all going through a bad time. It's called life. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah. So, where are we going to go then? Why is rubbish just from her? No, I just think we ought to boycott them, you know, because they sacked Maria. Are you joking? They should have sacked her yonks ago. Never mind waiting till she pours a pint over Shelley. Well, <laughs> did she do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it was an accident. It was meant for somebody else. Yeah, yeah, come on. Karen, just need a word. Uh, excuse me, she's on a dinner break. Yeah, well, it won't take a minute. We'll see you over there then, yeah? Come on, you. Oh, oh excuse me. I thought you were going to What? Nothing. Well, then, why did you say I just wanted to get rid of that lot. Listen, why don't we go for some lunch somewhere where they're not and somewhere where your husband's not likely to come walking in? Well, what'd be the point? Don't know. Just give us a chance to talk. Which we don't get in this place, and you know we don't. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've got me fags. <sighs> See what I mean? Yeah, well, sometime, but not now, eh? Right, then, are you coming, love, or have you got other plans? No, I'm coming. Get us a pint in. Right, OK. Right, just one question, then. Do you want to go back to Steve? No. Planning on doing? That's two questions. Sorry. <laughs> See, I don't know what sort of wedding we're going to have. Big, probably. Dev being Dev. <laughs> so it's definite, then, you and Dev getting married? Oh, yeah. I mean, I know there hasn't been a proper announcement or anything, and we haven't told our families around. Well. The thing is, I'm still married, aren't I? I'm still waiting for my divorce to come through from Robert. So I'm thinking, and yet, this is me reading Des mind, but let's face it, it's not that difficult. <laughs> I reckon that he just wants us to wait and not tell anyone until the divorce comes through. Which, yeah, you can kind of understand. Yeah, I suppose you can. Otherwise, I could have done it on the same day, couldn't we? We could have had a double. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you haven't got any doubts, then? I mean, what I'm saying is what you said before, you know, that, um, well, you're just coming out of a marriage, aren't you? Do you really want to jump into another one? Oh, Deb, yeah. 
Well, mainly because he can give me the sort of life that I want, whereas Robert never could. He just worships the ground that I walk on. I mean, I could have anything, yeah. I don't mean that, anything. So he's, um, actually proposed? Well, no, but there's different ways of doing that, isn't there? And in his own way, he has, yeah? Oh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Are you sure you don't mind? Well, I can hardly say no, can I? Seeing as how I spent the whole morning getting my hair done. And right smashing it, Messy Luke and all. Though how they can improve on perfection, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Betty, we well, can manage all right without Fred, can't we? Looks like we're going to have to do. <laughs> wonderful, is Betty. Oh, so I believe. Off you go, you're getting in way. You're wonderful and all. Have me uses. Uh. Oh, what can I get you, love? A buffalo light, love. Are you all right, Emily? Oh, not so bad. And, and yourself? Oh, can't sleep. Oh, dear. Well, I mean, it's one thing being robbed by somebody you don't know, but when a neighbour robs you, well, I don't think I'll ever get over it. Oh, that. I mean, it was life savings. And then I have to look across the road and see that family all dressed up and her dressed up to nines. And I think, oh, yeah, we know paid for that, don't we? Well, oh, fuck it. Yeah, anyway. It's a bit bright. All right, same again. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. Hey, sorry for interrupting you and Mr. Carter earlier. Didn't realise you were doing his boss of courting. No, we were talking, Janice. There's talking and talking, isn't that? Yeah, well, funny thing is, I used to go for drinks, meals even with him when I was with Steve. I suppose being with Steve made it feel safe. Now I'm just trying to avoid him. Well, what do you want to happen? I want everything to stop being so complicated, Jan. Not much chance of that, love. Yes, love. <laughs> All right. Uh, three pints, please. It would be four if Ayla were with us, only she don't fancy coming in. You know, after you made a laughing stock of her husband. Do you want serving, or is it a row you're after? Well, we can have both if you want. If there's one thing I've learned in this life, it's that a wife always knows what her husband's up to. She might not know the ins and outs, but she knows there's something going on. I really don't think Gail had the slightest idea. Oh, come off it, Emily. She must have done. Uh, so she knew that he was going to try and kill her, did she, Vera? And he was going to try and kill the kid. She knew that and all, did she? No, of course she didn't. I'm just saying about the money that's gone missing. What's that gone missing? He took it. He took it from Gail like he took it from you. Can you not get it into your head, Vera? Gail has lost more in all of this than any of you. I mean, she nearly lost her life if he'd had his way. Oh, Betty, could you give me a G&T, please, before I say something I regret? No so, this is like your mothership, is it? Enterprise to Captain Kirk. Can you boldly go and pick up somebody with a load of shopping outside cash and carry? <laughs> what do you want, Tony? <laughs> to make you happy. All right, well, then go back outside that door and promise me I'll never have to look at your ugly mug again. No, I mean to arrange to have your son move back in with you. Uh, what's to arrange? He just has to walk through the door. Yeah, well, trouble is... You know, I think he'd um, sooner stay where he is, which is all right with me if I was on my own. But I'm not, am I? Oh, you mean your girlfriend don't want him staying in the house like you told me the other night? Yeah, but she's got a point. It's a bit awkward with three of us. How pathetic are you? Oh, come on. I mean, is your son your flesh and blood, which I know you've done your best to forget, but he is. And now he wants to get to know you. So he comes and spends a few nights with you and what happens, you can't wait to get rid of him. Well, if you want to see it like that... Oh, and all because your girlfriend's been moaning at you. Don't want to upset her, do we? Oh, come on. Can't you get on to him and, you know, tell him you're missing him and will he come home? And do your dirty work. If you want to throw him out, you throw him out yourself. Oh, come on, Ali. You meet me halfway. No. Right, look at it this way. If I throw him out, he's not going to come running home to you, is it? Cos he's got his pride. He's a very proud lad. Nope. He'll probably take off abroad or somewhere. And then neither of us will see him again. Is that what you want? 
Well, I'm very pleased you're reopening. Oh, hello. Hello, hello my darling. What would you like? And another for you ordering? Oh, thanks. So dry white wine, please. Um, perhaps if you'd like to sit down, I'll, I'll oh, bring them over. Right, yes, come on. We'll <laughs> sit over here, Emily. <laughs> OK. Right, I'm going to have dry white wine, um, pineapple juice yeah. and a gin and tonic, please, okay, Betty. Well. She's sewn out a morning, isn't she? Yeah, well, I think you would be if your husband had tried to kill you. Oh, forgive me, I'm worse than that. Right, we'd better get going now, Mr Carter. Come on, you. I'll catch you up, yeah? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry before. I didn't mean to sound clever when you was asking me about Steve. No? No, look, nothing's changed. I'm, I'm not going back to him. It's just too soon to think about what I want to do next. So, uh, how long am I going to have to wait, then? I don't know. All right. Well, as long as it's not forever, eh? <sighs> Have a, a pint, please, Beth. I hope that's not all you're having for your dinner. Uh, no, I'll have We've a... loads of hot pot. Yeah, great. And an hot pot here, Betty, please. Yes, boss. I don't want my Shelley a widow after six months because her husband's living on pints and fags. Besides, so somebody's got to eat it. Oh. oh, cheers, Emily. Thank you, Emily. So, all right, answer me this. Whether you knew your husband were robbing us or whether you didn't. I assure you, I didn't. We've been through all this. Well, who did he spend the money on? Some fancy piece he had tucked away somewhere. Is that what you're trying to say? I never said any such thing. For goodness sake, Vera. No, because they were a family man. He spent that money on his family. So it doesn't matter whether you knew or not, you still spent money that didn't belong to you. And if you had a conscience at all, you'd pay that money back. So I'll leave you with that thought, all right? Please do. Ignore her. Come on, take the notice. She does have a point. No, she doesn't even have a brain. No, so she's just looking for somebody to blame and you happen to be convenient. Absolutely. Shall we come back to us for a coffee? Yeah, why not? And you have a look. Listen, Candice, you can't leave school until you've done your exam. What's the point in doing my exams if I'm going to fail them all, Sarah? That's all. You're going to work in there. Not a chance, not with that old bag. And I know she's your grand, I know you think she's really nice, but she can be a bag sometimes. <sighs> More like she wouldn't have you. You went in there this morning, we saw you. Yeah, well, that's before I had a chance to think about it. Absolutely. Just popping out for a sec, all right? Mm. Are you going to show your new hairdo off? If you've got it, flaunt it. <laughs> it shan't be long. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> anyway, like we're saying about Dev. Yeah? Well, it can be a bit... What's the word? Private? You know, it comes to his family or even his business. I mean, once I asked him, exactly how much money do you make from them shops of yours? But he wouldn't tell me, no. Well, um, some wives don't even know what the husband's earn, do they? Yeah, well, I'm going to have to know when I'm his wife. No, in fact, before, I'm going to sit him down and I'm going to say, look, I need to know exactly what I'm getting into here. So, um, has he actually proposed? Why do you keep asking me that? Oh, <laughs> I'm just interested. You know, how he did it. Yeah, well, like I said, it's a bit difficult until the divorce comes through, so he hasn't been down on one knee, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> right. So, I told my solicitor, I said, look, I want the fastest divorce possible. I mean, I don't even care about a settlement. Robert can have it. It's going to be peanuts compared to what I'm going to get off death. Are you serious? You tell your solicitor that Robert can have everything? Yeah, on the condition that he don't give me any trouble, yeah? Well, what's the matter? There we go. Uh, Roy? It's all right. No need to press the alarm button. Uh, we, we haven't got an alarm button. I'm here to say sorry. Well, I'm, I'm sure there's no need. There's a lot of need according to your wife. According to her, I upset and offended you, and I'm sorry if I did. That wasn't what I intended. Well, um, apology accepted. <laughs> so, give us a kiss. Only my little joke. Do I have to apologise for that as well? No, no, no. It's quite acceptable. <laughs> I suppose it'd have been better if she'd have run away with someone. Far away, like, you know, the Shetland or... Yeah, well, that way you won't keep bumping into her. Exactly. Anyway, I'll come here to talk about Karen. No, but since that's what we're doing, the one question I want to ask you is this. Do you or do you not want her back? I do, yes. Then go after her. Tell her that's what you want. She should know. Yeah? Why? I don't. I've been seeing more of you than she has. Yeah, well... Peter must have got it wrong. No, he must have done. What, do you think I'm stupid or something? Of course I don't. Look, I know the sort of thing that Des been saying to me. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that maybe you've misinterpreted him because Peter definitely got the impression that he was dead set against marrying anyone. 
but then it's wrong. Well, yeah, fine. I hope so. Oh, Tracy, I, I wish you hadn't said out now. I mean, I wouldn't have done it if you hadn't told me about Robert and the divorce and you're giving him everything. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right and Peter's got the wrong end of the stick. Yeah. Will you do something for me? What? You help me find out. Just Mrs. Ilmer said, did I want to go around for my tea? So there's no need for you to make me out. Oh, never occurred to him that it might be his turn to cook. Yeah, well, thanks for letting me know. Now, listen. <sighs> Your brother. Him? Yeah. Well, his rotten dad wants me to have him back because it's not convenient. Well, I want him back, so I said I'd go and meet him next week, so do you want to come with me and give me some moral support? No. All oh, right. Thanks. Does Jason know his dad doesn't want him staying with him? Oh, no! Jason thinks his dad's fabulous, and his dad thinks he's fabulous. It's just me that knows he's a skunk. Hello. Hiya, Dev. It's, um, it's me, Shelley. Shelley, Shelley. Oh, yeah. Hi, hi. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. It's just... Uh... Well, I was hoping you'd booked anywhere yet. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry? For your engagement party. Just, we do catering and everything. I was hoping you might like it at the Rovers. Well, it's just... Oh, wait a minute. I think there's been a misunderstanding. Oh. Heck, I've not put my foot in it, have I? It's just... Somebody was saying that you and Tracy were getting engaged. Yeah, well, I'm afraid they're wrong. So, you're not getting engaged, then? I'm definitely not getting engaged. Where did you hear this? Oh, <laughs> I can't remember now. I mean, we've had such a lot in. Yeah, well, uh, whoever it was, no. No engagement, not now, and not ever, no. So, you're not planning on marrying her, then? Well, don't look crazy. No, no, I'm not. Credit me with a bit of sense. I'm so sorry to have bothered you. Yeah. You're so good. Okay. Tracy, I'm so sorry. I'd, I'd give anything to be wrong. Only you weren't. What are you going to do? I'm going to get even.